first and foremost, I just want to remind you, it's okay to not be okay. We human. But what's not okay is for you to stay that way for an extended period of time. Super important that you push yourself and pull yourself out of dark places when you go there. I need you to protect your mind. There are no subtractions and divisions in our mind. There is only addition and multiplication. I will just remove negative thoughts and I will have positive thoughts. All the best, it's not going to work. It's just that you need to pay little attention as to how it functions. You will see there is a distinction between what is you and what you have gathered. You know how they say you are what you eat? You also are what you think. You also are what you say. So yeah, everything is crazy around you. Everything is crazy for the entire world. And you have these negative thought processes that are attacking you left and right. No Swami. Um, the other day you had mentioned that uh, thought is very necessary for one to take any action. Sometimes I feel the action I've taken is based on a thought that's not mine. Is that possible for someone to plant a thought in my mind, making me think it's mine? <laughs> none, none of your thoughts are yours. None of your thoughts are really yours, please see. Thought is something that you generate from implanted information, all kinds of things hitting you. The way you think right now depends on what kind of family you were born in, what kind of parents you had, what kind of education, what kind of society, what kind of social backgrounds, religious backgrounds and all these things deciding how you think. Yes or no? For sure, isn't it? So how can you say it is your thought? All kinds of people are working. Can somebody plant a thought? Definitely. Definitely, yes. If you're talking about someone consciously wanting to plant a thought in you, is that possible? Very much possible. I need you. I've told you this before, I need you to block out those negative inner thoughts, I need you to block out those negative inner demons, and I need you to keep your positive mindset on lock. You have to make sure that you're protecting your mind. So yeah, you might turn on the TV, you gotta limit the amount of time that you spend watching the news. Because that news will feed you that doom and gloom. Enough news so you know what's going on and you educate it, but not much more. Turn it off. I want you to understand. Early in the morning, they're going to tell you pretty much everything that's going on. Everything else is going to be regurgitated over and over again, the same stuff. And they're going to add more things in to make you feel some type of way. Turn it off. I love what Trent Shelton says. Protect your peace. Because as we know, life can sometimes get the best of us. But your mind state determines your ultimate outcome. You cannot... Listen to everyone's opinion. I know your mama, your daddy, sister, cousin, best friend, auntie, uncle, they all got opinions on whether this thing is real or whether it's fake or what you should do or what you shouldn't do. It's imperative that you protect your spirit, protect your mind from contamination. But you shouldn't get into this mode. Because every time you do something wrong, you will think, somebody planted this in my <laughs> Even if you let somebody plant it in your head, it is still your doing, isn't it? Yes? You let somebody plant a thought in you, that is also your doing, isn't it? Oh, somebody planted a thought in my head, what can I do? People are going about this, this has become a fashion everywhere. This was an Indian thing, when Indians got very affluent many generations ago and they got naturally lazy, they came to this, God willing. 
Anything you ask them, they'll say, God willing. God willing, I will get up. Who knows when goddamn God is willing? <laughs> if I do it, God was willing. If I don't do it, he's not willing. This is a horrible trick. But it goes on in the world. Everything that matters to them, anyway they will do. If you ask something, they'll say, God willing. Yes? Will they say, if God willing, I will have my dinner? No, they will eat. <laughs> if you say, can I have dinner? They'll say, God willing. <laughs> so, Can we plant a thought? Definitely we can. In fact, we can plant a whole philosophy into you if you want. <laughs> Why just a thought? A whole series of thought, a complex series of thought we can plant into your head. But there are different ways of planting a thought. There are dark ways of doing it. There are straight ways of doing it. There are other ways of doing it where a thought is not planted. You are made to think in a certain way, purely for your well-being. You gotta limit the time you spend conversating and communicating with negative people. Simple as that. You also gotta feed your mind. Because you know we got a lot of downtime. So what that mean? Watching more videos, watching more TV, spending more time on social media. What are you watching? What are you feeding into your system? What are you feeding into your soul? Are we putting ourselves in a position to get better? Or are we putting ourselves in a position to be worse and not as smart as we were before this all went down? So I know we want to watch all the reality TV shows. Oh, we got to see what's going on on TikTok. We got to know what's going on on Instagram. See all the social media stuff. But is it feeding our soul? Is it making us better people? Have conversations with people all the time. And they talk about how they feel this negative spirit is on them. Almost like a demon-like thing. And I'm like, listen, what are you feeding yourself? What are you feeding your soul? What are you feeding your mind? What are you feeding your spirit? And then we have conversations and they tell me the things that they're watching, the things that they're listening to. I'm like, well, you don't have a balance. It's all about a balance. So you know if you're going to listen to this song right over here that's not feeding your soul anything positive, you got to have a song that's going to feed you something positive. You got to balance it out. If you're going to watch this TV show that's not feeding your soul anything, you got that pure entertainment value going on, but you're not getting any good food for your soul, you need to watch something that's going to feed your soul. You need to have books, podcasts, webinars. There are all kind of empowering, positive things that you can listen to, that you can watch, that you can read, that will make you whole inside, that will help fulfill you. I'm not telling you to cut out all the ignorance cold turkey because, hey, sometimes that ignorance, we, hey, we get a lot of enjoyment and entertainment out of watching some things that may not be the healthiest for our mind. I'm just saying have a balance. Okay? Because if that's all you're feeding yourself, you are what you eat, you are what you watch, you are what you read. So make sure that you are protecting your mind. Okay? And make sure that you're feeding your mind with things that are going to make you a better person. Because you know our ultimate goal is to come out of this situation better than we went into it. We don't want to slip into anxiety. I don't want you to slip into depression. Because there will be moments when we struggle. We talked about that last week. 80% optimism. 20% worry. And the more we feed our mind and the more that we don't protect our mind and allow those negativities and negative thoughts to come into it, the harder it's going to be to stay optimistic. So make sure you have a balance in everything that you do and block out all the ignorance and allow all that positivity to flow into your life. This needs to be done. Otherwise, you will just scatter yourself all over the place and Spend your life without any purpose, without getting anywhere. The dark ways of doing it involves very various dark arts through which 
they will plant negative thoughts in your head where you will work for your own destruction. The straight ways of doing it or the school teacher's way, they're trying to tell you this is better, this is better, this is better, you know, constantly. Or uh, the marketing uh, manager's way, the Coca-Cola, the real thing, the real thing, the real thing, the real thing. Now you say the real thing. <laughs> if I say the real thing, you'll say Coke. <laughs> Everywhere it's written around the world, real thing. So, that is just by repetition. It's straight. If you want, you can reject it. With the first one, if you're vulnerable in some way, you have no choice. It will anyway enter your life. The last way of doing it will happen only if you're willing, open and receptive. Otherwise, that person who does the last way of putting thoughts into you is not even interested in doing such things. Only if you are willing, open and you want to go in a certain way but you do not have the necessary grit to hold on to something that you need to do, then a thought can be implanted in you in a different way. So, if you're talking about negative thoughts being implanted into you, all you have to do is bring a, some simple meditation or something where your system gets organized in such a way that these things cannot affect you. Or you must carry something with you which will create a certain cocoon of energies around you where these things cannot affect you. There are various ways of preventing somebody else influencing your thought. That way, when this is all over, you find yourself winning. You know that's what we all about. Finding a way to climb over the hump of adversity, climb over the hump of drama, and make each and every day of our life a win today. This is a great day to win. Let's go.